Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'm here today to try some products, some new products and some products that launched last year and it's Jeffree Star makeup. And I haven't reviewed Jeffree Star's makeup in a long time because there was nothing that actually grabbed my attention. And on this channel, we are focusing on makeup. We are not focusing on people around the makeup. So if you have any thoughts, I would like you to keep it for yourself, but we are only here to talk about the makeup and makeup that's promising so much out there, but does it really work on a mature skin or on the skin where there is a lot of texture, oiliness, you know, unevenness or just just honesty, okay? I have hooded eyes, I have a lot of skin, I have wrinkles, I have pores, I have uneven skin, I have everything you can think about. <laughs> but I am actually very honest because I don't want to lie because this is hard-earned money you're putting in makeup and you see those videos and you think uh, with those filters and you think it's going to be so smooth and beautiful. But let's just calm down and look at this with our eyes um, and truly see if it's that good. Now I have combination skin, very oily t-zone, dry, some dry patches around the rest of the face and I have to be honest that of course some products work for some people, some products don't work with, uh, for other people but you know what, we are here for the truth. So I am going to review, try the Pricked palette. I love um, Jeffree Star's eyeshadow formula. I think it's one of the best eyeshadows formula. Now I have the red um, palette, True Blood, is it that what it was called? I have Blue Blood too. I don't have the green one. I would like to have that one, but I for some reason missed on this palette. I don't know how I missed it. I actually went on uh, Beauty Bay to buy these new, and I have four shades, eye gl um, gloss uh, powders, eye gloss powders, and I saw this it was, I think it was on 20% sale and I just fell in love because I, I love orange um, colors and this palette just spoke to me. And I had to have it, have to have it. So we are going to use this. I do have four uh, different eye gloss powders to try out. I also have the, um, yeah, mascara from Jeffree Star and um, Let's see if it's that good. So we are going to wear this the whole day. And so if you want to see my thoughts and see how it works, then please keep on watching. Okay, I also bought this Jeffree Star lip scrub. And this is in um, Velvet Lip Scrub, Orange Gummy Bear. I have to be honest, guys, I tried a lot of lip scrubs and I've used Jeffree Star's lip scrub before. I think I had, was it uh, strawberry something? I don't remember, loved, loved it. And I have to be honest, these are the best. And yeah, sugar, some taste, whatever. But I don't know, for some reason, these work best for my lips and I love, love lip scrubs. So had to have this one and I've used it. Of course I did. Tastes so good. Don't eat it but you can eat it so it's not dangerous for you but it's not food. Uh, and I thought it was so delicious and actually was really good working beautifully. So if you haven't tried Jeffree Star's lip scrub do that. You're missing on something. You're missing something. This is so... Mm, smells so good. Uh, so I had to buy this one. And yeah, I am actually going to also film another video uh, when, when I finish the makeup look. I'm going to review the new NYX Plump Right Back Primer, but I want to do that in another video if you just want to see that. I don't want to see Jeffree Star stuff, so that's why I'm cutting the video. Um, okay, so let's scoot, scoop in and let's start. I'm not going to swatch the shades from the palette because there are, this is a not a new palette and there are so many videos with the swatches, you can probably find one. Um, but if you want to see me swatching them, let me know, I, I can do that for you, but I don't feel like I need to. Uh, we are going to create, uh, just try to create um, like easy makeup look, nothing really, you know, too 
we'll see. I always say that, but I end up creating like a big makeup. I do want to use the cutting edge, this color here in the crease. And for that, I'm going to use, uh, this is the Do Care brush, like a blending brush. And let's go with that. These are powdery, um, really powdery, but never bothered me. Okay, and if you can see, maybe. So it's almost like my skin shade, but not really. Um, so it is visible. I already primed my eyes with the, what it's called, the Kaya Cosmetics eyeshadow primer. And I already set it with some powders, just so you know. This is kind of heavy to hold like this, just so you know, guys. Let's be honest, it's not the easiest palette to hold. I'm going to go in and take the Luna Beauty number no. two brush. Orange Fatale, Fatale, this color here, I can't pronounce it. It's very orange. I don't know how to hold this palette because it's not easy to hold. Um, this is so bright, love it. I'm going to bring it into the crease. I'm not going to go as high as I did with that. Oh, you know, not zoom in, sorry guys. I'm not going to go in as high as I did with that first shade, but I do want it into the crease. These are pigments, which means they are going to be, need more pressing and smaller motions. Of course, they will be more pigmented and more, you know, opaque if I used wet base, but I know myself, I'm not doing that. I know this is more like a fall palette, but who said you can't wear or orange eyeshadows during spring? Nobody. Okay, I am going to take the So So palette brush number four. And I do want to dip up this, so we are going to go and use this double crossed. This shade here. Nope, this shade here. Definitely not easy palette to hold. I don't know if you can see, but it, for some reason it doesn't really want to get as pigmented as it is in the palette. And for some reason it's not sticking on the eyes properly. It gets a little bit patchy, uh, both this and the orange I had before. And could be that my the these are pigments, of course, and they work better if you have um, what's called a little bit sticky base and I powdered my base, but also maybe doesn't work with the eye primer. I don't know. We are going to go into this dark uh, black with the same brush and just try to dip it up here a little bit. This black has some shimmer, but probably disappear after we we'll try to let it. So I'm going to go in and use my finger and go in with um, the fashion. Yeah, I won't say that word, but here. And then we are going to go in with this one too, the first shimmery shades. This one is beautiful. I mean, these two are beautiful together. Now this makeup look will turn out beautiful or look much better after we finish the makeup look. But um, let's just say uh, it's a little bit harder to work with than I'm used to with Jeffree Star's um, palettes, but that could be these orange shades. I need to play with it a little bit more. I'm not, I'm obsessed with the colors, but the formula kind of is, feels a little bit different. Probably isn't. I haven't researched a lot, but we are going to go in with these eye glosses and I have shade, uh, ooh, where are the shades? Uh, Blunt of Diamonds. 
this outside packaging looks really, really good. And I already swatched them when they arrived. I couldn't keep my hands because they are really pretty. So it comes in this small, beautiful packaging. And when you open it, it does have a cap here. Look at these details. Like a and this is the diamond shade. Let's swatch it. I have nails, so it is going to be a little bit hard, but... And I am kind of fell in love with these toppers after buying the toppers from MAC. Um, these from MAC Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with these. They're really good. So I'm using them more than I thought ev that I ever would. So when I saw Jeffree Star launching these, of course I had to buy some shades. So we'll see which one we use. But this one has like si silvery, bluish kind of um, base or shimmers. Beautiful. Looks very wet and stunning. And then we go with the other shade that's Mood Ring. Mood Ring is oh, so beautiful, beautiful. That looks like this. Sorry for my nails, I'm going to go and fix them soon. This is how it looks, let's watch it. So this one is Mood Ring. Look at that, that shift is stunning. Kind of purpley, silvery base. I, I just like it, shimmer. This one is also nice. Then we have the third shade, Peach Goddess. And I love orange and peaches. And of course I had to have this shade. And we are going to use this one today too. This is how it looks. I already swatched it, so... Not easy to use if you have nails. Look at that. Look at this. Beautiful. And it's orange with silvery gold flakes. That's how it reminds me. And then the last shade I have is Frozen Fire. It looks like to be a du duochrome, gold and purple and pink and red, I don't know, kind of really weird. Um, I swatched it yesterday, this one is more soft than the others. I swatched it yesterday and it looked more red on my arm than it... No, now it looks more golden on this. But it has nice shift to it. Look at that. I like it. So we are going to go in for the peach goddess. Just because we love peach and we have that orange. I mean, I'm not hating the look, but I'm not obsessed. But we'll see. So we're going to take this on the fingers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. This is so beautiful on the eye. I'm obsessed. That's stunning. Ooh, I love these. These are so stunning. Look at them again. They are so stunning. These are 10 points. The palette, ooh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but it is what it is. I'm going to go and finish my face makeup, try some other products, and I'll be back to finish the makeup look, and we are going to try the mascara. Okay, guys, we are back and we are snatched. The makeup is done. We are going back into the palette. So I'm using this kind of brush and I do want to go in with uh, some other shades. Let's go in with this Mysterious Circumstances, this color here. Oh, wow. And then I'm going to clean that brush. And then with the same brush, I'm going to go in the, in the first shade that we had. This one, just blend the edges. The, this one is very powdery though, I have to say. I do want to go in with Orange Fatal again, this 
bright pink and just bring it back here. Feel like it faded a little bit. Okay, I like this, but this palette is sensitive. It depends what kind of brushes you also use. Okay, so we are going to set everything. Before we go mascara, I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Matte Setting Spray. I think I got this from my friend Valerie. Let's curl the lashes. And before we go in with the mascara, I do want to go in with another of these glosses, eye glosses. Let's go in with this diamond, blunt, blunt of diamonds. And I'm going to use a small brush, uh, like a, this kind of flat small brush. And I do want to go in and bring this here. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. That's stunning, guys. I'm loving these toppers uh, more than the palette. Now, the palette is nice. I just need to make it work a little bit better. But I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed. I want every single color. I want every color of this. Okay, so we are going to go into the mascara and... Um, yeah. Should be long wearing, waterproof. I love the packaging though. I have to be honest, I love the packaging. I think it's stunning. <laughs> and this is what it claims to be. I love the packaging. He's always, oh, look at this brush. It's so unique. He always does the best packaging. Oh, I love how this separates my lashes. I'm not, usually not a big fan of these spiky kind of uh, brushes. I get scared and every time I poke myself on the eye, it hurts. Okay, so this is one coat. I mean, it's... It's nice. It's nice. You see, I just poke myself here. Let's let it dry and I hope this will uh, go away. Usually I'm not sure about it because this is waterproof, but I hope it will go away. I like how it looks with one coat. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it, it reminds me of the Huda Beauty one. But let's go in with a second coat. Okay, guys, I don't know what you think, but I love how my lashes look. I feel like they are giving me that... They definitely made my lashes look longer. And I feel like this is easier to build up if it's... Not if you don't let it dry too much when it's still a little bit tacky, but getting you know dry Then it's easier to build up you it's kind of hard to go through it when it's dry, but I'm liking how this looks Yeah, it removed with just a touch beautifully love that okay, we are going to uh, use the Huda Beauty lip contour pinky brown Just love uh, Huda Beauty's lip liners. Um, I don't know if I made it even, but who cares? We are not going anywhere today. And uh, let's go in with the Le Jeffree Star lipstick, mini lipstick in Leo. This one is a little bit older lipstick, so it dried down. It's too dry, so I can't use it. I need to throw it away. That's a shame. But let's go in with the lip gloss. And I'm going to go in and use the Luna Beauty Coven lip gloss on top. <sighs> Luna Beauty has some amazing lip glosses. I haven't tried Jeffree Star's lip glosses, though. I would like that, too. Okay, guys, this is the final look, me trying out the Jeffree Star products. I'm uh, I'm really liking the palette, but it is not as easy to work with as I thought it would. It does take some time with them, 
with it, but I need to play with other colors and I need to play with other bases, eyeshadow bases, and see if it, I can make it work better. But I love the colors, I love the shades, the shimmer shades on ice. Uh, there is some fallout, but doesn't kind of bother me. I mean, they're beautiful colors. I don't really have some of these in my collection, so I'm glad I have it, but I need to play with this palette a little bit more. I'm obsessed, obsessed with these um, eye glosses powders from Jeffree Star. I'm obsessed and I wish I had more colors because they are stunning and it just made the look pop uh, pop more. I'm obsessed. Love it, love it, love it. I also like the mascara. I like the mascara more than I thought, uh, that I thought I would. I hope it's not going to flake because my problem with waterproof mascaras is that they flake. And it's not good. But when you make a mistake, just let it dry and you remove it easily. Uh, but yeah, that was everything, guys. Let me know down below if you tried any of these eye glosses. What do you think about them? What's your favorite product from Jeffree Star? What's your least favorite product from Jeffree Star, guys? Uh, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. And yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell. <laughs> So, thank you guys. Bye.